Hello, it's John Hodgson here from johnhodgsonmaps.com. I just took delivery over the weekend of something quite exciting, which we are going to take a look at. But let's start with a bit of a history lesson. This is the second edition of Slay Industries by Nightfall Games, as it tells you on the front there, created by, created by Dave Allsop. And this is a UK RPG uh, from the 90s originally. And it had kind of a, it's got a really interesting story that, that Dave and Jared and co who, who formed Nightfall Games, um, they, their company was bought by the short-lived Wizards of the Coast UK division who published the game for a while. Um, and when that folded, uh, Dave took back ownership of the game. Um, and it's had a sort of long and storied publishing history. It's passed through various publishers in its day, and it's still alive and well today. They're working on a second edition of the game right now, which is pretty exciting stuff. It's had its fair share of ups and downs and troubles. We'll get more into that, I expect, as we go. So that's the original cover by Glenn Fabry there, really nice stuff, classic stuff. Halloween Jack is one of the characters from the game. Now, jumping to talk about my favorite subject, me, me, me. This is the contract directory, which is one of the source books from a very long time ago now. And uh, this is a book that I worked on. It was one of the first published credits I got. In fact, I think it was my Second published RPG credit. John Hodgson. There we go. And I did some work, and and this, yeah, there we go. Um, I was working in pencil in those days, so there's some pencil work in here. As you can see, it's a kind of sci-fi setting, kind of cyberpunky kind of thing. But there's no, there's no um, net in in Slay Industries. There's, oh look, that's, that's good. That's my work there. So a very long time ago. When was this one published? Very long time ago I worked on this one. So this this was published by Hogshead Publishing, which was owned by uh, James Wallace. And this was published where I'm just trying to find the um, copyright date. I'm failing miserably. Has this got a date in it? It must have. It must have. There must be a copyright notice in here somewhere. 2001. 2001 this was published. Wow, that is a long time ago. Anyway, so I've had a bit of a long history myself with Slay Industries. So fast forward to 2019 and I got through the post. Wait, I didn't get anything through the post. Um, I went and collected it at the pub and drank beer. I don't know why I said through the post because that's just not true. That bad boy, that is a heavy book. So, so look, you can see it is thicker actually in profile than the second edition rule book. So this is Slay Industries Cannibal Sector One. Now, this started out life on Kickstarter and it was originally a set of, going to be a set of skirmish rules and a bunch of miniatures, which to some degree it still is that you can get the miniatures from Nightfall Games store, there are skirmish rules in here, but uh, the, the Kickstarter itself ran into a bunch of problems, as often happens on Kickstarter, where there's a lot of enthusiasm initially, uh, a certain amount of money is made, and and then not everyone can manage uh, the kind of money you get with Kickstarter, and basically the original iteration of of this. What was going to be purely skirmish rules um, was made with a new company called Daruma Publications. And Daruma sadly folded. The money ran out. Um, there was a lot of spending before they got to working on the book. Um, and in the end, it just wasn't going to be possible to make, make this supplement with Daruma Publishing. So Daruma folds and in steps in... Uh, Mark Rapson from Wordforge Games, who basically saved the project. He he joined Nightfall Games. He's put a lot of his money into the project. And instead of 
basically a quite short set of skirmish rules and a bunch of miniatures. This has become a fully fledged role playing game supplement for Slay Industries. And my goodness, what a what a chunky tome it is. Now, I know kind of the inside story of this. I did. Well, I'm friends with Dave and Jared, who who are the creators. Oh, well, you know, part of the creative team. Mark has also helped out creatively. So has Shep, who is another new member of Nightfall Games. Um, but they've worked really hard and against all the odds as well. I mean, Dave has done an incredible amount of work uh, over the last couple of years without any whiff of payment to finish this off. And, and being their friend, sorry, I'm totally rambling, but being friends with the guys who made it, I know just how hard they've worked, um, which was why I was really happy to help out also with some artwork in this one. Let's have a look. Yeah, there's, there's my name there. Great to see Clint Langley back on Slay as well. So cool. So let's just have a look through this. So it's a hardback book. It's about a gazillion pages. It's 352 pages. And in the end papers, this is a really nice touch. Printed end papers. We've got the credits. We've got some fiction. And then we've got some nice atmospheric stuff there. Let me tell it so you can see it so the lights aren't just bouncing all off it. Look at that. I love this drawing here. It's kind of watermarked on. And then, whoa, look at that. A big spread by Dave. Look at you. Fantastic stuff. And then I'm I'm not gonna review this. I've not had a chance to read it. I'm just gonna have a little flick through. That's ah, kind of a famous picture of Mr. Slay in it. Look at you. Quick flick through just so you can see what you get. Look at all this glorious Dave artwork. There's a spread that I did. That one's been shown online. And the little people. Let's just have a let's just go for it with the old flip. Look at that. There's a lot of really beautiful stuff in here. Jared did the layout and has done a really beautiful job of it. It's super clean. Really nice stuff. Smoking is bad. And there's just so much more in here than we ever thought we were going to get. I also backed the project before I was working on it. I was a backer. <laughs> um, and, you know, I'd pretty much written this off. You know, sometimes Kickstarters just go wrong. Um, I'm firmly in the camp that sees it for its original purpose, which is to help people fund new projects, bring them to fruition. And sometimes that goes wrong. I know it's really unpopular for publishers to say, oh, it's not a pre-order, you know, you're not guaranteed anything. I mean, I think, obviously, creators on Kickstarter need to plan their projects properly, and they need to watch their spending, and they need to be responsible. Um, and I think it's absolutely fantastic, and it speaks very highly of, of Dave and Jared, and, and latterly Mark and Shep, that they have delivered on, on this. Uh, backers aren't getting precisely what they originally backed for some of the miniatures i know have had to change just due to budgetary constraints and there was a lot of merch originally that i don't know how much does anyone want all that kind of merchy stuff that's been swapped out however we paid originally i think it was 20 or 25 pounds for the book and this is i mean this is a 40 45 pound book we're getting so i have absolutely no complaints there so that is pretty darn cool um but yeah, anyway, I was saying, I think, you know, creators have a responsibility to, to do their best to deliver and so on. However, things can go wrong and, and you are not guaranteed. There's another piece I did. That looks nice, doesn't it? You're not guaranteed to get exactly what you ordered, in inverted commas. This is my whole point. You're not ordering it. You're putting money in in the hope you will get rewards. I think that's been a, a bit lost over the years of Kickstarter. Um but it's a, it's a hard one to talk about because I know in comments someone will probably pick me up saying, uh, you're kind of enabling creators to just duck out on projects. Not at all. Not at all. Quite the opposite. But, you know, projects can have problems. And I was I was pretty much resigned to this one was not going to was not going to deliver, which was very sad. But knowing the people involved, I know nobody wanted that to happen. 
and nobody certainly nobody set out for that to happen but look what we're getting this absolutely glorious book no oh, look at all these so this is great and it's really nice to see some material back in print and in full color for Slay Industries. I mean, this is really moving Slay Industries forward. It began in the 90s and is very much sort of, of the 90s, but the guys making it are still very creative people and there's a lot more to show and, and tell, I think, in in the world of progress that Slay Industries is, is set in. And, and I really look forward to seeing that coming to life and hopefully helping out a little bit that's cool Look at all this so hey thanks you nightfall guys i think they've really really delivered here this is an incredible piece of work and yeah knowing knowing a little bit about that inside story uh, i think they should be very proud of what they've achieved here look at that Look, 